Hey guys, and welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Start this one off a little different. Um, I have not been to Sir Pizza here in Winchester for, like, since I was a little kid. Like, I think we went to Little Caesars Pizza when I was a kid for a church group, I think. Um, and this was the building it was in back when I was a little kid. So I've never been there since I've been an adult. Um, the reason being is it's kind of run down <laughs> and it never was that uh, clean looking. So anyway, that's what it looks like. This is the old version, the old location they have moved. Uh, but I wanted to show you the building. This is what it looked like. Um, well, this is what it looks like now. But let me show you some of the, this is the inside of the, of the building. Um, some of the different views of inside. It's another view of the outside. Uh, the pizzas and stuff on the side look pretty decent. The sandwiches and stuff. I don't know if there's any more pictures of the inside. There's another one. Um, they used to, years ago, they had little telephones on the booths and the tables to where you could um, you could call tables. It was kind of you know one of those silly things you would do as a teenager. But um, yeah, you could you could actually call the other tables and talk to them. Um, I don't don't think I didn't see that anymore um, on the inside. I'm trying to find, there's a little Sir Pizza guy. And this is what one of their menus looked like. There's another view. Yeah, there's no there's no little phones on the table anymore. There used to be little phones. So I always thought that was pretty cool, um, how they had the phones on the, on the table. So now they have moved. They have moved to a new location. And uh, there's a view of the menu. They have moved to a new location, and I am going to uh, try out the new location that they moved to. Um, I I will show you a picture of that one once I uh, once I get there, and I'll show you. I'm just going to go through. Um, well, I can show you the menu too. Um, this is their online menu for Sir Pizza Kentucky. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. There you go. Um, this is the the menu, and uh, here's the the things they they offer. They offer pizzas, um, sandwiches. Looks okay. I think they could do a better job on some of their pictures, but but they look okay. Signature pizzas. Um, they have a pineapple, Hawaiian, chicken, chicken bacon ranch. They have a lunch special, which I'm not going to get because it just has a salad. I'm not worried about that. Um, starters. They have breadsticks, cheese sticks, chicken wings, garlic bread, which looks like literally pieces of bread with cheese on it. That's interesting. I don't know that I've ever seen uh, that at a restaurant. That is literally like sliced bread with cheese on it. Hmm. Interesting. Um, and then there's their salad and the wrap ups, which is kind of looks like a, a stromboli and they have pasta and they got create your own pizzas and they have desserts here, which I'm not going to get a dessert either. And they've got beverages. So what I'm going to get, I'm going to get, I think what they're uh, known for is the Royal Feast. And I'll click on it. It's the house special or special blend of pepperoni, onion, sausage, mushrooms, green and red peppers. And I'm going to get just the eight inch regular. I don't need anything bigger than that. And it's $9.99. So I'm going to add that to my cart. And again, I'm not going to get anything else. I'm, I think, well, you know what? I'm tempted to get the, the garlic bread just because it's so weird looking. Um, hold on. It, it's so different looking. I don't want the chicken. It literally looks like bread with, I'm going to get that just for the heck of it. Because I'm curious to know, is it just like two slices of bread? Um, is it Texas toast? Is it, what is it? So I'm going to get one of those two. That's three ninety nine. So yeah, so I'm going to check out here. And um, once I check out and pay for it, uh, the next thing you'll see is a picture of the new building. They do have a drive through, but I'll show you the building uh, first. And uh, then I'll take you through drive through with me and we'll, we'll go pick it up. Hey, so here is the new building. Um, you can see they built this new like a uh, strip mall or whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's right here on the corner. They've got a drive through right there and you can go inside and get it right there. Um, I may actually just run inside. I want to see what it looks like inside. So I'm going to just run inside and get it and uh, I'll be right back. I could go through drive through but I'm going to run in. Okay, I went inside. It's really nice in there. They have uh, seating. You can go inside and sit down if you want to. This little like patio area right here, I thought you could walk in and go right into that door right there. You cannot. This is completely sealed in. Like they've got like a, a this, I don't know what you'd call it, metal, 
fencing or whatever around the whole thing. So there's actually a door right next to that column, right behind that sign. There's a door you go in right there. I almost didn't know that I was like, I walked around and I went, okay, how do I get in this place? Cause it's all rope, it's all chained in or locked, uh, fenced in. So I saw that door, there's no sign on it. So it's weird. So I went in, that was where you go in at. And everybody, this is going to be a patio area where you can walk out of that door and go sit outside if you want to, but it's just that it's just not set up. They literally just opened this location maybe a week ago, maybe. Um, so anyway, I just thought that was really cool, but I do uh, like the, uh, the looks and everything. It looks very clean in there. It's brand new. So anyway, let me uh, go find a good parking place and uh, we'll try this out. Okay, so here's my order. The, the cheese bread, they didn't give me the marinara sauce. It's okay, I wouldn't have eaten it anyway. Uh, but the um, the the bread literally is just like two slices of like toasted bread, which is interesting. And then uh, there's the pizza. It looks, this is the eight inch, so pretty decent sized. Um, so yeah, it looks really, really good. I'm going to uh, get the camera turned around and we'll give it a try. All right, so on the website, when you were looking through there, it, it did say I could add a marinara for a price. But um, it said it came with it, so it's just they didn't give it to me. So it is what it is. Um, I'm trying to pull this cheese bread apart. There's like a work truck that pulled up next to me. I don't know. Who knows? Um, they're still working on the other buildings, the other um, stores. So I don't know what they're going to be. It doesn't have signs for anything. So yeah, it's just this is literally just bread. nice garlic flavor though um decent amount of cheese i mean it's for sure something you can make at home with a uh, garlic butter and some cheese good and crispy though good and buttery has a nice garlic flavor it's not bad Sorry, it's a lot to chew. Um, so when they say garlic bread, they literally mean garlic bread because it's uh, it's bread. Um, I did have something I told them. My total was the garlic bread, as you saw on the website, was three ninety nine. The pizza itself was nine ninety nine. My total was thirteen ninety eight plus whatever tax or whatever you're gonna add. Um, I do like this, but again, you could definitely make this at home on your own. Um, but if you're eating out and you want some garlic bread with some cheese on it, eh, not bad. Most places put, you know, it's a pizza crust with um, garlic and cheese. They have just chosen to do, um, it's really garlic toast uh, with cheese. So again, not bad. I'm not complaining about it. Uh, $4, you get two slices of bread and, and lots of cheese and some garlic. I don't know. It's not. It's not too awfully bad. Um, now, Sir Pizza, they cut their pizzas in um, squares instead of triangles. So, um, so you have to. They're um, they're cut in into the squares. So you have to eat it a little bit differently. I'm gonna eat a. It's like a kind of like an edge piece, a corner piece, or whatever. It's not really a corner because it's a circle. I know, but it's a smaller piece of the edge. Like I said, I have not had Sir Pizza since I was a little kid. I distinctly remember the church youth group coming here to the old location and it's sitting there because I remembered us getting on the phones and calling each other. It was funny. That particular piece had a lot of onions on it, um, and a little bit of mushroom. Pretty well colored, covered pizza too. Lots of onions. I think they're pepperoni or these little, like 
squares. Yeah, I think I was pepperoni. It's not a really strong like spice pepperoni. Overall, the flavor is very sweet. Not like sugary sweet, but sweet ingredients. So you've got the tomato sauce is kind of a sweet tomato flavor. And then the onions, they are a sweeter, maybe a, like a Vidae onion or something like that. They're a sweeter um, cooked onion than than like a really strong onion. Um, it's just overall kind of a sweet flavor. Their pepperoni, I don't really get a lot of seasoning from the pepperoni as far as spice goes. But overall, not a bad pizza. Uh, I like it. I like it as um, I like it as much as like uh, Pizza Hut or see Pizza Hut is a place I will not go into town. I like Sir Pizza and their old building was really like um, really old and run down and kind of like dirty and and well just to be honest with you kind of nasty um, Pizza Hut in our town is is like that as well if not worse if I have been inside there a couple times it literally looks like they um, they have the same decorations the same layout same everything from the 80s the bad thing is i think the dirt from the 80s is still in there as well and i hate to say that because i really like pizza hut but our location here i would not go to because it is so dingy looking when you go inside and run down and uh you know i don't blame the employees or anything i blame the owner for not like stripping that place and redoing it because it needs it um the building was for sale for a while i don't know if they ever um, I don't know what the, I don't know how they were selling the building and still staying open, but they, they were. Um, yeah, overall, I like this. The crust is nice. It's crispy, but it's not really, really crunchy. I like how these trucks are pulling in next to me. And I'm way down, so I don't know what they're coming in here for. Um... Yeah, the crust is good and crunchy, crispy on the outside. I was trying to work my way towards the center because there's two pieces that aren't edge pieces at all. Look how thick these are. Look how many toppings are on them. I wanted to try some of this. The crust in the center is a little bit softer. It's not soggy or wet, but it's definitely not as crisp as the outside edges. It's still good and brown, but it's just not as crispy. Um, I got a little bit more flavor of the peppers. Um, still taste a lot of onions, but I taste a lot more of the peppers in the center. And um, I'm getting a little bit more of that, um, the, a little bit more of the seasoning in the meat. So like the little sausage pieces. Um, I'm getting a little bit more of that sausage and pepperoni flavor in the center. Um, because I'm guessing it's more piled up in the center than on the edges, which is fine. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm, I would give it... I'm trying to think of the other pizza places in town. Um, you got this and Little Caesars and um, Domino's and Papa John's. Yeah, those are the three big ones. Um, then you got the Pizza Hut I won't go to. The um, Overall, I think this is about comparable to those. Um probably has a little bit better like toppings flavor than like little caesar's does but uh, it depends on what little caesar's pizza you get too but this one's also a little sweeter than some of the other ones as well i'm gonna give it um i wish the pepperoni was a little bit spicier and the cheese bread's a little bit hokey to me it's just bread with cheese and garlic sauce on it so it's i mean it is what's in the picture so it is what it is but i'm gonna give the garlic bread um, the yeah the garlic cheese bread 
I would probably give that maybe a three and a half or so because it's just literally bread with garlic and cheese. Excuse me. Um, the pizza, I would give it, I'd give it a four. I really do like the flavors of it. I do like, it almost comes across as a veggie pizza instead of like a meat pizza, but um, I do like it, but it is a little sweet. So if you don't like a, a sweeter pizza, then you may not like this. They have other flavors too, of course. You saw them on the website. They got tons of them. Um, plus you can make your own if you want to as well. But I'm gonna give it a four. Um, would I add this to my places I would go in town to get pizza? Sure, I would go here just as much as I would. Um, Little Caesars, probably more so than Little Caesars less so than Papa John's or Donato's. So there you go. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.